First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 64. Wherefore, ye my sons, be the lion, and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. To the elect and one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head of pauses of the great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with genuine truth and sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Akwafim who are listening as well. My name is Brother Daniela from the province of Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. All right, I just wanted to bring out this quick class, man. Um, you know, fret not that evil doers and the workers of iniquity. Okay, so we're living in serious times right now where they're going to demonize us. They're going to demonize us at a, at a very high level. And those who are within this truth, man, those who are like those who are called to be in this truth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be prepared for those things, man. When they demonize us through these deep fake technology, you know what I'm saying? You know, or or just demonize us by getting clips of certain camps or certain lessons that you have done um, in the past and all the way up to now. Um, you know, as the scripture says, the enemy shall come in like a flood, man. Isaiah 59. All right, so. It's going to get really bad out here, man. And I can feel it every single day. I feel it in my blood, man. I feel it in my spirit. It's going to get really bad out here. But the Lord reminds us through scriptures that he is with us. And, and also, even angels are with us as well, according to Psalm chapter 34, verse 7, okay? The, the Lord is with us, and he's going to fight by our side. And remember, our war is not carnal. It's spiritual, Okay? And what I brought up from 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 64, I'm going to bring it out again. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 64. Wherefore, ye, my sons, be valiant. All right? And, and valiant means to be courageous. All right? To, uh, like, to be a man. All right? You know what I'm saying? Be brave. So, wherefore, ye, my sons, and we are his sons. Okay? Be valiant and show yourselves men in behalf of the law. And so the Lord said, show yourselves as men, not little boys. You know what I'm saying? Show yourselves as men. Be men of the Lord. Okay? The Lord wants men, none else. Okay? You know? And as the scripture says in Job, man, um, you know, like gird up thy loins like, and, and, and be a man. Roughly paraphrasing, and I'll, and, and I'll definitely grab that um, precept as well, okay? So, and show yourselves men in, in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. And in the end, you shall attain glory. As the scripture says in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33, the fear of the Lord is like it's the instruction of wisdom before honor is humility. So we will be humiliated on this side very badly we will we will be humiliated but a part of that humiliation man is you being um in that furnace of adversity okay you will be in that fiery furnace to become refined gold that wedge of all fear okay according to isaiah chapter 13 you're gonna be beautiful pure gold during these trials and tribulations whether it's spiritual whether it's mental or physical the lord is molding you into that that wedge of all fear which is a very high grade and pure uh like highest pure uh pure state of gold the lord is going to put you through that fine furnace uh, that that fiery furnace that you are going through right now you know every brother is going through right now every single brother within this truth is going through uh afflictions of all sorts you know uh, you know and uh and the lord will be with you during that, uh, like, like during those adversities, now in the future, okay, it's gonna it's gonna be really crazy out here, man. A lot of people are going to hate you, according to John chapter fifteen, man. A lot of people hated Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, they're gonna hate us too, cause we serve Him, 
All right, we know the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son, and we're doing and we're doing the work with true sincerity. Okay, and also loving the brethren within this brotherhood, man. You know, but you know, we have to uh, be diligent within this truth, man, on our daily day lives. So, the Lord says to, uh, to keep, uh, like, uh, as the Scripture says in Psalms one nineteen eleven, uh, King David. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Isaiah 33 and 6, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability for wisdom and knowledge shall be stability of thy times, the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay? So we have to keep these sayings so he can keep us from the hour of temptation. Lord's will. Yahweh is up. You know? And for, uh, uh, for many are called, but few are chosen. So let's read on. Uh, sorry, next precept. All right. And Psalms 37 is a, it's a great chapter. It shows the judgment of the wicked, uh, of the wicked, and the righteous will, will and the righteous will be protected during these times or these last days. Okay. It's a it's a chapter to be uh, um, like to be read. You no, know, it's recommended. You no. Know, uh, like for you to read this man it's a, it's a great chapter to read all right so this is the book of psalms chapter 37 verse 1 fret not thyself because of evil doers neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity con so fret means not uh uh like fret not he said don't be afraid okay so fret not thyself because of evil doers and there's a lot of evil doers in this world man this world is flooded with wickedness. Okay? Babylon the Great, America, is the most wickedest place here on earth. And every country is following after this uh, whore, man. And, and uh, uh, like, like Babylon is mentioned as a whore. Okay? A woman. You know? And everyone's drinking the rivers from this woman, man. Alright? So, uh, she caused a lot of mischief here around the world, man. And, uh, and 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 uh, and those who are part of that wickedness, man, like they will be condemned with the um, final event, which is the nuclear missiles, which is the lake of fire. Okay, so Psalms thirty-seven, verse one: Fret not thyself because of evildoers; neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Okay, so the Lord's showing you that. The wicked won't, won't last too long, man. Everybody who's in wickedness and everyone who doesn't care about righteousness, not even by a grain of sand, the Lord's showing you the result of the wicked, okay? It says, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb, all right? So if you witness anybody cut grass or if you did landscaping, which I did in the past, and I have brothers who do landscaping, you know what I'm saying? Once you cut the grass, that's a wrap. That grass is dead. Okay, that's the same way. The, um, like that's the same way the wicked's going to be in these last days. The Lord's going to cut them off. All right, the two thirds of the uh, of the uh, the two thirds of the children of Israel will be cut off, and also these other nations, as well, who are in wickedness. All right, the reason why this whole world's in wickedness is because um. Because the rulers of this world are are like are wicked, man. All right, Job nine twenty four. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Malachi one and four. Edom, uh, 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 Edom is the board of wickedness, and Edom goes back to the lineage of the so called white man, Esau, Edom, red people. All right, I'm gonna keep saying this over and over and over. It's the truth, backed up by uh, like different sources. All right, history. White, it's the so-called white man goes back to the lineage of Esau. All right, our twin brother, uh, uh, our, our twin brother from uh, um, uh, from Isaac. Uh, like Isaac being the the father of the two sons Esau and Jacob. Okay, so that's literally our brother in the Shemitic lineage. Okay. But he wasn't the chosen seed. Jacob is the chosen seed. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? In that order. All the way on down. 
So I'm going to keep saying this because it's the truth. Okay? Esau, Edom, the Edomites, Caucasoids, Caucasian, European, white people. There are the lineage of Esau, Edom. Okay? And I'm going to mention this many times because people need to know the biblical nationality of these people and the wickedness that they have caused throughout centuries, still to this day. Okay? Let me read on down. Verse 3 Trust in the Lord, trust in Yahweh, the Lord, and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be, be fed. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, the Lord, and shall give thee the desires on thy heart. All right? So the Lord will give you blessings as well if you trust in him, man. He will bless you through the times of, of, of evil and great perils, man. The Lord will trust you. He will feed you. He will do everything that, like, like he'll do everything for you, like he promised in the scriptures. All right? You know, uh, like Isaiah, you know, uh, like my servants shall eat, but ye, um, but ye shall be hungry. My servants shall, uh, shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. You know, he's going to look after his servants, man. He's going to look after his chosen elect, man. In Lord's will, I hope I'm a part of that number. And also my brethren who's doing this work with truly sincerity. And all the Akim and the Akwath as well. Lord's will. Call out Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? So I'm going to get straight to the point, man. Um, Khan. Verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahweh... They shall inherit the earth. Con. So Matthew 5 verse 5. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth, man. Blessed are the humbled, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is only dealing with the humble, not the pride, uh, uh, and not the prideful of this world. You know, those who humble themselves before the Lord so the Lord can uh, exalt them in due time. Okay? The Lord will exalt you in due time. If you humble yourself in this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Do what the Lord says at the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? To the point where you might end up doing it to the T. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord will deal with you at a higher level. Just like he did with Yahweh Shai, man. Because greater work shall he do. Because he goes back to the Father, man. Understand? So. Alrighty. Let me see here color one uh let me see let me see come on i'm gonna move on i'm gonna move to the next precept okay remember that was a good one somewhere around here Khan. Got it. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 138, verse 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand, hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Okay? So, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. The Lord will revive you at the times of trouble, man. That's that's coming here uh, um that's coming here in America man it's going to be great peril great trouble great tribulation all right Jacob's trouble Jeremiah 30 and 7 a time like never before all right it's going to be craziness man you know what I'm saying if if y'all if y'all haven't seen the movie uh Judas and the Black Messiah with uh a, like the story about uh, the on uh, the Black Panthers man it's 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 a uh, it's a it's a movie that you need to watch because there's gonna be a lot of uh, choose breakers and uh and you know what I'm saying it's gonna be a lot of uh like it's gonna be a lot of brothers like betraying each other man you know what I'm saying it's gonna be it's gonna be craziness and and, and I pray that the Lord n not to put that kind of spirit 
on me or any brother within this truth. You know what I'm saying? Because that's right there. That will lead you to destruction, man. What Judas did to Yahweh Shai, his result was suicide. Okay? Judas ended up killing himself for killing one of the greatest men here on earth, man. The greatest man on earth who died for the children of Israel. Okay? That's a very, 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 very scary thing to do. Is to go against, you know what I'm saying, the men of the Lord like that, man. And it's, it's a very, very scary thing to do because the judgment is crazy. Because if you offend the Lord's little ones, the Lord's going to give you a grievous death. And that's a scary death, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you don't offend none of these little ones, man, at the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who's who in the spirit. So, you know what I'm saying? But back, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like back to the subject. You know, so Psalms 138, verse 7, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me, thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemies. So the Lord is going to stretch forth his hands of uh, uh, the ones who are going to betray you, the ones who are going to cause mischief, uh, that's going to cause mischief towards you, that's going to try to kill you or do anything to you. The Lord is going to stretch forth his hand because, you know, as the scripture says, uh, 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 like Proverbs 20 and 24 Like man's going to the Lord So the Lord he's controlling all he's, he's controlling everything here You know what I'm saying He's controlling every single individual here on earth So he can do whatever he wants Because the Lord is, is Like the Lord is in control He's the great and terrible power Okay I form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil I the Lord do all these things Alright Isaiah 45 and 7 Alright Psalms 66 and 5, come and see the works uh, uh, of the Most High, for he is terrible and is doing towards the children of men. Hebrews 10, 31, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, okay, of the living God, living power, man. So, the Lord is scary. He can send all kinds of craziness to the ones who are like, uh, who've not been obeying him. All right, and we need to pray that he doesn't do that. We want to be on his good side at all times. You know what I'm saying? I know a uh, uh, adjustment falls seven times, man. But sooner or later, you know that adjustment got to get back up and keep going and not stay on the floor all the time, and not be condemned with his own mind, man. Okay? Because if you're still battling yourself, imagine on that day when the enemies come, uh, uh, like coming like a flood, and you're still battling yourself. It's game over, man. Okay? So, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me, thou will stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. And who is that right hand? Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right? Our big brother. Okay? Our big brother, man. And, you know what I'm saying? We need Yahweh Shai. All right? He is our mediator. He. We need a savior in these last days. We need a savior. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 a lot of people think a lot of people think that they don't need a savior, man. Especially these Old Testament uh, Israelites. Okay, that's madness. That is pure madness. The, the scripture says Jacob's trouble. It's going to be our trouble, and it's going to be a time like never before. We need a savior, especially a time like never before. Okay, we need a savior. All right, period. And I know it's going to get really ugly. It's going to get so real out here. It's going to get really, really bad out here, man. And I can feel it. I can feel it. And I'm trying to be left blameless as possible. I'm trying to be left blameless. If there's any animosity, or oh, I can't, I can't, put, I can't pronounce that word right. But if there's like any conflict with any brother, man, you know what I'm saying? Put that brother to the side, man, and talk to him. All right. Or, or like something like something that he did in the past or or you know recent you know what I'm saying if you're offended by it go to that brother man you know what I'm saying because you got to forgive that brother so the Lord can forgive you for your sins okay and uh you know what I'm saying you got to start letting go some baggage man 
because that narrow path is going to get scary. It's going to get you know, more lonelier as well. But the Lord's going to be with you and the angels are going to be with you. But it's going to be tough, man. You know, um, it's, it's going to be tough, like not having food for a few days in your stomach, probably not even, uh, like probably not even having water for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Doing all that running, burning all them calories, dropping weight like crazy. You know, we're going to do uh, like uh, like those who are going to be pilgrims of the earth, man, and not and, and, uh, and not be caught in these uh, FEMA camps. Some of like, some brothers are going to be in FEMA camps. Some brothers are going to be pilgrims of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And some brothers are going to end up like dying for this truth, man. But it's going to get really crazy out here to the point where like it's going to be like hardcore. It's going to be hardcore mode, man. Hardcore. It's going to be hardcore mode. You know, you know, like, uh, like not taking a shower for a few days or maybe a week or two, you know, and people, and then, and then like, and, and, and people continuously coming after you. you, you might end up having a bounty on your head, you know, your face or, uh, your face or your videos you might be on the news for months. You might... Like you might be on a billboard, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna get it's gonna get very ugly out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You might be working and and the feds might pull up and uh and, um, um the, like and try to apprehend you. Okay, but the Lord He is with you. All right. So I'm gonna grab Isaiah 41 and end it with that. Like it is truly blessing to be a part of this truth, man. You know, but I didn't want to just be called to be in this truth, man. I want to be chosen. All right, I want to be chosen. I've seen a lot. I've been through a lot, and I'm and and, and guess what? I'm gonna see a lot more. Everybody's gonna see a lot more in this truth, man. You're gonna see craziness. You're gonna see madness. All right, you're gonna see wickedness at such a high level. You know, and I'm and and and, and I'm up for it, man. I know, I know it's easier said than done, but I'm up for it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy out here, man. And I can feel it, but I'm up for it. You know what I'm saying? I asked the Lord in the past to help me to endure to the end, and, and let me see the end, and let me see the uh, the hereafter. Let me see everything. You know what I'm saying? I want to see everything. It helped me to have a very strong spirit to see everything, man. I want to see everything to the T. You know, and you have to out that I end up being delivered in the chariot as well. You know, I know the scripture says we shall be saved by our um, by the skin of our teeth, man. But I want to see everything, man. Lord's will. You have to out. Okay, so this is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-one, verse ten. Feel thou not, feel thou, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Call it one. All right? And um, like we said, the, um, the right hand, all right, is Yahweh Shai and these angels, man. They're, like, they are the ones that are going to uphold us in these last days, man. You know what I'm saying? So, the Lord is going to uphold us with his righteousness. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for, you know. What I'm saying to be on the Lord's good side, to um, and uh, and also doing His will, all the way straight through. Okay. All right, verse eleven. Behold, all day that were in, uh, all that they were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. All right? So those who come up against you in these last days, those who are trying to hurt you, trying to demonize you, everything, the Lord is going to take them out. Okay? The Lord is going to take every single person out who's trying to uh, kill you, who's trying to hurt you, etc., man. 
anything that is in, uh, in, in wickedness towards another person, man, the Lord is going to take them out for you. The Lord is going to fight for you, man. And I, and, and I truly believe the Lord is going to fight for me. He's going to fight for my brothers, man. I truly believe that. Okay? Verse 12. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as and as a thing of naught. <laughs> you see? They're going to come up against us, but they're not going to um, end up like withstanding. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to take them out. Like I said, the Lord's going to fight by using his angels. He can end up putting spirits on other people to take them out for you. And those people will end up serving you as well. You know what I'm saying? Because you are a man of the Lord. And the Lord would do that. Man's goings are of the Lord. The Lord's controlling all things. Isaiah 45 and 7. Okay? He's control of the good and the evil. All right? So, you have nothing to be afraid of. All right? Verse 13. For, for I, Yahweh, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Verse 14. Fear not. Thou, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, save Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right? So, you know, like, so the Lord is very repetitive. He said, fear not. Fear not. He said, thou worm Jacob. And we're compared to worms because we're all vulnerable in this, uh, in this society, in, in this world. Because, you know, according to Micah, 2, uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10, like this, this life is not our rest. All right, this lifestyle is not our rest, man. So, you know what I'm saying? These uh, these like, like these certain decrees that's here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? It's not for us, man, to be comfortable. All right, you know what I'm saying? They still treat um the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, like like um. Like as if they're three fifths of a man. There's still videos showing that you know, um, like police, uh, like police brutality. You know what I'm saying? They're still beating up Jake like a freaking animal. They're still beating him up. You know what I'm saying? Or when the police is called on on Jake, there's like three, four, five squad cars, cause they're afraid of Jake, man. What he, what they can do. You know what I'm saying? It's all part of the um um the system. All right, the system is against Jake, especially the so-called, uh, um, like the so-called Negro. All right, the so-called um, black man. Okay, that you know what I'm saying. That's the number one uh, target here, like here in Babylon the Great. They'll do anything to degrade you, to make you feminine, to make you, uh, like to make you very low in this society. They'll do all that they can. They said either you abide by our rules, be like us, or be nothing. You know, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and uh, I rather, uh, and I rather be nothing in this society. You know what I'm saying? I rather be nothing to Esau, man. But to the Lord, I, you know what I'm saying? I will serve the Lord with gladness. I will serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And abstain, like, 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 and abstain from all the, like, all the evil from the world, man. So I can be with the Lord, to be on the Lord's good side. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up. I talk too much. Okay, so, verse fourteen: Fear not, that worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. So ye men of Israel, he's only dealing with the men of the hundred forty-four thousand. He's only dealing with the men. I will help thee, save Yahweh, and and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, okay? And that's one more precept that I wanted to bring out before I want to end this class, man. So, Bacon, so fear not. The Lord is with us, man. The Lord is with us. We, for, we forsake this world, we're gonna forsake everything, man. We're gonna forsake all things, according to Matthew chapter 19, verse 29, okay? And we're gonna forsake everything to gain a hundredfold in the kingdom. We're building our treasures here on earth, uh, here, right now. We're building our treasures now, all the way, to, uh, uh, like through the kingdom of heaven. All right, and it's righteousness, not here on earth, but through the kingdom of heaven, man. 
All of our churches are in the kingdom of heaven right now. All right. Oh, my gosh. I think water got in my Bible, man. But all praise is the priest of that I want that's not damaged. And it's time for a new Bible. So this is the book of Isaiah. This is the last precept. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 4. Okay. No, jump up to verse 3. So Isaiah 26, verse 3. That will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Verse 4. Trust, trust ye in Yahweh forever, for in the Lord Yahweh is everlasting strength. Connor 1. I think that was it. I think that was it, man. Uh, Connor 1. Connor 1, that's it. Salakia. So, so Isaiah chapter 26 was 4. Trust ye in Yahweh forever. For in the Lord Yahweh is everlasting strength. So trust in the Lord forever, man. That's like, that means now and forever in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It, it starts now. Trusting in the Lord starts now. Okay? Trusting in the Lord starts now. So, I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kakadash. All right? Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great Mustang We will. Peace and salutations to the Alchemy while pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. If this was edifying to you, it's edifying to your leg. Till next time I say, Shalom.